Hello there, how's it I'm Mega Kid that is. All right, since yesterday I talked about food, uh, if you haven't watched it, the link is in the description below if you want to check it out what I ate uh, last time, or actually more like what was the food that was taught to me by a uh, someone from Thailand so if you're interested go ahead and take a look at that but today I feel like I wanted to continue the tr um, not really a trend but at least kind of like feel like hey you know what maybe I can talk about a little bit of the things that I do like to eat or the things that I do like to go for most of the time and um, a lot of people tend to ask me like what's my Jap favorite Japanese food often more than not yes I mean there is the um Tonbutsu is basically the rice bowl or sometimes there is the most people love to say the ramen with the noodles of Jap uh, uh most which is kind of like came from China but Japanese people just call it but interestingly ramen is actually uh, a Chinese word which is basically mean pool noodle it's just that in Japanese now they just call it ramen based on it but they never really use the actual Chinese word nowadays but then again the pronunciation is still there so hey I mean like it's I guess that's still all right. But what a lot of people did not uh, expect me to always say that my first Japanese food, as well as my favorite Japanese food of all time, is actually not anything. I mean, like some people will say, hey, I love to eat sashimi, I love sushi, I love ramen, whatsoever. Yeah, I love a lot of Japanese food. I get to live in Japan for six years of my life and I get to enjoy a lot of food up close personally and I know very very well but then again at the end of the day I still can't deny that what got me into Japanese food was actually this as you guys can see on the screen it's actually cold soba I mean like hey there is Chinese uh I mean like not the Chinese I mean it's more like there is the hot soba there is the cold soba there is a hot udon there is a cold udon there is the cold soba there is a hot soba along the line so basically what I mean gonna say is that yes there is a lot of people tend to say there is the hot version the hot version as there is the cold version which is something like when you go to the shop and we like to have a drink uh a bottle of water and then no people actually go around and ask that do you want to have a hot bottle of water or do you prefer to have a cold water or potter or like along the line so it's like sometimes when you sit down and enjoy it's like something that actually caught me off guard about coastal but it's like first time in my life when i first eat japanese food it was a coastal but it's not sushi it's not sashimi it's not uh rice bowl or ramen it's actually i mean like yeah if you're going by instant noodle or it's japanese i mean like yeah i, I want then i guess i guess instant noodle noodle is a thing but then again if you're going like authentic japanese food um kosoba is actually the first one that got uh got me hooked into understanding about japanese food i mean like even pen, uh, before i eat pendo it was still kosoba and why is that but the thing is like what i should get like i mentioned what actually interesting is that throughout my life before i touch about kosoba i've been like taught to eat hot food that hot food is the way to go because it kills all the bacteria so that you won't get sick easily and mind you guys that when i was very very young i always tend to get sick very very easily um so often more than not i tend to only like even like i have to eat very very hot food sometimes it's like even when the soup is hot i still have to drink it even if it's touching my tongue i still eat it but at the same time um for me who have a cat tongue I still find it very very hard to enjoy those kind of hot food at times. I mean like if it cool down a little bit it's still warm but uh, yeah that's fine but if it's way too hot yeah that's a little bit mm -mm, no no but then again uh, when you and uh, when you finally touch a cold food that is actually not just only delicious but it's also it's, it's just also like it's cold it's, it's not warm it's cold and that got me off guard and i actually enjoyed this food personally and i actually took my time to uh <coughs> excuse me like take my time to actually go and and like find out a lot of japanese food and ever since then it's it's really one of the food that bring bring me to uh, bring me to have a better understanding of japanese food and uh, right after cold soba it was sushi i mean like sure a lot of people like, sure people will say like hey you eat sushi a lot of time yes but it was the noodle first that uh, it, it was kind of like a ch uh, a chance of whatsoever because normally you like uh we know very well that some parents will be like hey uh we don't want to eat you to i uh, don't want you to eat uh sushi along the line because it's cold or sometimes you let me be if it's not cooked along the line but when you have a noodle that is cooked but it's chewed 
and le- and stuff at the same time. And when you eat it, it's like mm, it's actually very very delicious. So that actually got me to some time in uh to actually decided to go and sneak out a little bit to go and eat some sushi and then the, the ramen and the bento or rice ball or whatever that is a lot in Japanese culture along the line and it, it's really really one of the things that really opened my eyes and it's what make it even more ironic in a way is that uh, this is the food that like this is really the food that I didn't know it was a Japanese food until when I was slightly older and I know about Japan. I mean, like I only know about Japan when I was slightly older and I only know about this. But then again, in the when I was young, I just know, hey, mom, can I eat that cold noodle? I, that cold noodle, that cold noodle, and that is the, basically the cold soba. So ever since then, I just love eating this uh, quite a lot. And it's really something that I really think that you guys should, if you guys have a chance to try it, do try it. If you don't know how, uh, the proper way to eating it, uh, there is actually online, I believe there are a lot of YouTube uh, way to do it. But then again, uh, Normally, when you have a you cook the noodle, you chew, and then you put you chew it in water, and then you add ice at the bottom to make it even more chill. When uh, and then you serve it, and you you have a, the the sauce, and sometimes you can add a little bit of wasabi if you want a little bit of spice to it, or you can add a little bit of uh leash or whatsoever to it, to the sauce itself, not to the noodle itself, or even seaweed to the sauce itself, because you want when you dip it, it's everything is in the in the sauce, and you you stick to the noodle as you eat it into it. So it's kind of like interesting that I actually enjoy this food uh a lot. And if you guys do have, if if you guys can't eat, uh cold food is fine. It no one is blaming you. Uh, but if you do. Ha- uh, if you do have the chance to try, do give it a try. Uh, it is quite an interesting uh experience for, and uh, that brought me to know more about Japanese culture and, f- uh, especially in the food, in, uh, in the food sense. But uh, I mean, like that's just basically maybe that's just uh on my end. But I mean, like it's just a random chat. But then again, if you do have e- eaten your, this food or you feel about this food, hey, just write in the comment below. We can discuss it further. But then uh. But do then don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat and we'll talk see you again in this real life stream. Good have a good day online. Bye bye.